happy Halloween, you guys. The most wonderful holiday of the year. I said what I said. Hey guys, it's Sharon. <laughs> I am so excited for today's video because sadly, I can only make this video once a year because sadly, Halloween only happens once a year. A petition for Halloween to happen more often will soon be circulating the internet and it may or may not be started by me. So keep your eye out for that. Anyways, this video is a combo of what would have been two videos last year. So I originally would have done like one embarrassing stories that happened on Halloween video and one period horror stories from Halloween video. But I figured why not get the best of both worlds, like my girl Hannah Montana says, and put them all together. Wait, isn't that also like a Hannah Montana reference? What is it? I'm the one that has the cheese. He's the one that got the jerky. We put what it both together and, and yeah, it really worked. worked. Cheese, cheese jerky. jerky. Say what? Say what? Okay, so this video was like cheese jerky apparently. You know the drill. I love to ask my subscribers their secrets or their stories and that's exactly what I'm doing and revealing today. So if you would like to see more videos like this, give us a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if you would like to binge more spooky Halloween related videos, I have created a Halloween playlist on my channel. So if you don't want those spooks to end just yet, I got you, sis. Or also if it spooks you around for you, I still got you, sis. So that being said, go grab your snacks, go grab your Halloween candy, and let's get right into this video. Actually, pause. I did just realize I don't have Halloween candy and it really sucks that adults can't go trick-or-treating anymore. So um, if you'd like to virtually share some Halloween candy with me or simply just subscribe and turn on your post notifications, that'll also work for me. Thank you. Anyways. <laughs> I was at trick-or-treating in a white bunny costume with my friends and crush. I didn't know I had started my first period, so I didn't have any pads. Turns out I leaked and my friend was calling me the bloody bunny in front of my crush. I punched her and ran away because I was embarrassed. My crush was chasing after me and decided to help me. Me and him are now dating. Hey, shout out to that crush. This is usually like quite the opposite where, you know, like the bestie's the real one and the crush is the one that sucks. My oh my, have the tables have freaking turned. Cool, so your friend's a fake. Uh, your friend is definitely giving off those like pick me girl vibes where it's like I'm gonna make fun of my friends and throw them under the bus just so I can appear cuter and quirkier to guys that's weird it's not pretty it's not cute it's flat out embarrassing so honestly trash took itself out and the crush ended up being a really cool one good for him also though like you really can't ever forget getting your first period on Halloween that's kind of cool that beats like my first period story I can't even tell you when it happened it was the day before Halloween and I had made plans with my four BFFs to go to a Halloween costume party the next night our plans were to go as crazy roller skating animals. I was of course a giraffe saying I'm six feet tall. Halloween night I arrived at the party and see what I thought were my BFFs dressed up as aesthetic ghost. They all betrayed me and made those plans behind my back and I looked like a crazy giraffe all alone crying in the corner. One, how, how do you do an aesthetic ghost? How does this costume, what does this look like? What is an aesthetic ghost? Like I'm picturing someone wearing like a white sheet over them and like holding like a Starbucks cup and they have like one of those little, what's it called? Padlock necklaces. And those little dangly e-boy earrings. Like, is this an aesthetic ghost? Cause that's what I'm picturing. I don't know. Oh my God. Is it like, what are those things called? Visco girl? Is it like a visco girl ghost? I do not know what an aesthetic ghost is. So aside from your friends having an unrecognizable costume, they also suck. That's just not cool. This is straight up twisted bullying. This feels like mean girls. When Katie shows up to the Halloween party, actually dressed up in a terrifying bride costume costume while everyone else is just dressed hot. But in Katie's defense, she was not aware that that's what girls did in general. Your friends purposely misled you. So I really don't know what to tell you other than the trash took itself out again. I would have taken advantage of that though. Like I could have been the crazy giraffe. That's fine. Everyone knows what a giraffe is. No one knows what an aesthetic ghost is. So jokes on them. I'm in middle school. Everyone wears their Halloween costumes to school. I decided to be different and be a unicorn. The other girls wore more mature costumes. So I was very embarrassed. Honestly though, don't be embarrassed. I was gonna say I don't know why actually I do know why it's because of social media especially Instagram and TikTok but I feel like kids are in such a rush to grow up now like a 12 year old does not look like a 12 year old when I was a 12 year old no one has that awkward phase where you're just like this really embarrassing nerdy dweeby preteen anymore you just straight up go from like 11 years old to like 17 years old and it's weird it's a little bit concerning and it's also just sad because sis you got the rest of your life to grow up 
up and be an adult. So like honestly, enjoy being a unicorn in middle school. I also feel like Halloween costumes are weird things to make fun of. Like they're costumes, they're not real. I can be whatever the heck I want. So like, why does it matter if it's a unicorn or like a visco girl, you know? There's a point of Halloween is just having fun. So you're fine, you're acting your age and that's a good thing. When I was in college, I was leaving a Halloween party and I was a little drunk and my crush volunteered to drive me home. The next day in class, he told me that I got fake blood on his front seat. I didn't have fake blood on the back of my dress and I was on my period. Should I tell him or not? You know, I would normally say honesty is key and every great relationship has honesty in it. But my thing is, what he doesn't know won't hurt him. You know, like he already thinks it's fake blood. No need to like cut into that wound and add salt to it and make it worse and be like, it's actually really blood. Cause either way, he already has to deal with a blood looking stain. It's gonna be there. Whether it's real or not, it's still a stain. So I would just leave that little detail out. Unless he comes across this video for some reason, then we just ratted you out. But no, no, just what he doesn't know won't hurt him. <laughs> My guy best friend and I went to a haunted maze and the haunted maze goes with jump out to scare us, which was kind of bad for me because I get scared easily. We accidentally split up, so when he finally found me and approached me, I thought he was a ghost and punched him in the face so hard that his nose started bleeding. I feel really embarrassed looking back at it now, but good news is we are dating and just laugh about it now. Yeah, absolutely not. If I was on a date with a guy who went to a haunted house and it accidentally punched him in the face, I very highly doubt that guy would ever talk to me again. So honestly, kudos to this boy. He must have really liked you to literally look past and look through the pain and his freaking broken nose. <laughs> I also feel like if you're one of those people that is an, an aggro responder to spooky, scary things, don't go into spooky, scary places. Don't go into haunted houses. Don't go into haunted mazes if you know you're gonna deck someone in the face. I'm just saying, if you know you're gonna punch someone, then maybe avoid the situation where you could punch someone so then you wouldn't have punched the person you were with. And while it, it worked out, they're currently dating. So apparently to find boyfriends, you just gotta take them to a scary, haunted maze, house, whatever, and just punch them in the face. Cool, we should all try that next Halloween. <laughs> when I was in eighth grade, they told the whole school we could dress up for Halloween. I don't even like Halloween and I only wore my costume because I didn't want to be the only one not in one. I ended up being the only one who wore my costume and I got made fun of all year. That's lame. That's when you know you go to a lame school. When kids make fun of you for dressing up on Halloween, first of all, you should be making fun of them because like, I'm sorry you're so pathetic and lame that you can't have fun on Halloween and dress in a costume. When I was in middle school, we had to wear a uniform. Any day or any chance opportunity we were given to not wear a uniform, we always took advantage of that. Halloween, dude? Why wouldn't you take advantage of that? Having an excuse to go to school dressed up as like a freaking alligator low-key, alligator low-key, I'ma take advantage of it. But no, everyone else said, dressing up is lame. You're lame. Anyone should be bullying anyone, it's you bullying your entire school. Even though bullying is not cool. Please don't bully people, that's really messed up. <laughs> On Halloween, I was sugar treating my friends and my friend got her period. The blood started dripping down her leg. When we got to someone's house, they saw the blood and said they liked the detail put into the costume. Costume. <laughs> Halloween is easily the best time to get your period because no matter what happens, you could always play it off like it's part of your costume. If you were a cheerleader or an angel or like a zombie, you're now a bloody cheerleader or a bloody angel or a bloody zombie. Or you want to know the best part, you could be like, I'm a cheerleader that got her period, haha, ha, funny. When in reality, it's, it's you really did get your period, but they don't know that. They could just think it's a costume. You could just tell them it's a costume. That's the most wonderful thing about Halloween. My thing is though, if someone said this to me, I would simply be like, thanks. It's natural. Give me the candy and then I leave. <laughs> I got so scared in a haunted house, I peed myself the entire time while running out. <laughs> That is truly amazing. I would pay money to see that. <laughs> this might be a little bit messed up, but like some of my favorite videos to watch every October, especially like the closer I get to Halloween, is Ellen sending in that like one producer, is it Andy or whatever, just sending people into haunted houses. Actually, I just love watching videos of scaredy cats going into haunted houses in general. They're just, there's something so fun about seeing other people get scared crapless about theater kids running around and terrifying them. <laughs> I was at a Halloween party with my best friend and I was on my period. My bestie told me that I bled through and I was horrified. So I quickly ran to the bathroom and you know, did my business. Fast forward a few hours later and I went to go get punched and I noticed something in the party thrower's dog's mouth and it was my bloody used pad. And he dropped it in the floor and someone slipped on it and broke their ankle. <laughs> and it left 
because I was so mortified at never going to a party again. You're mortified? Imagine being the person that has to tell people they broke their ankle because they slipped on a bloody pad. <laughs> Says, I think you're good. I especially think you're good because no one knows it was you. It could literally be anyone else's bloody pad. What if it was someone else's bloody pad? You know, there's nothing that ties it back to you. So you're anonymous. It's all good. Poor kid that broke his ankle is not looking so hot for them at all. <laughs> Imagine telling the doctor, yeah, dog, I mean, like, there was just a bloody pad on the floor and I didn't see it and I just slipped on it like a friggin' banana peel and now here we are getting x-rays and a freaking cast. <laughs> I went trick-or-treating with my best friend when I was like 12. I was dressed as a zombie. At the second house, the lady opened the door and refused to give me candy because I was too old to be trick-or-treating and had to learn my lesson the hard way. That lady sucks. I don't care how old someone is. If someone comes to my house trick-or-treating, I will give them candy because that's what Halloween is. I don't know when we created this like societal rule that you have to be a certain age to go trick-or-treating. Remember when I said I wish adults could go trick-or-treating? I seriously wish adults could go trick-or-treating because I miss it. That's the most and best part about Halloween. It's also like, it's candy girl. You spent five bucks on a bag of candy. 20 if you got the big variety pack. You can't give me a freaking Tootsie Pop. You can't give me a stupid little M&M pack. Really, you're gonna be stingy about candy on Halloween that you purposely bought candy to give out? TP their house. I'm coming with you next year to TP their house. How about learning that lesson the hard way? I went to this festival in a local city and there are a lot of little kids. I had a tampon in the pocket of my costume, but it fell out when I grabbed my phone. A little kid picked it up, unwrapped it, and stuck it in his mouth. The cotton part too, out of the applicator. This kid was about five or six and his mom had to give me a new one. He then got to talk about what that was and where it goes in the body in the middle of a sidewalk. You know, at least he got that talk. I'm not gonna lie, most parents don't educate their sons about periods. So truly, shout out to her for doing just that because guys should also be educated about periods. It's not like they're never gonna deal with a woman in their life. So love that. I do want to point out though that how did the kid know to take the tampon out of the applicator? I'm impressed. <laughs> I've literally gotten period horror stories where people didn't know they were supposed to take the tampon out of the applicator. So this like, this kid right here, he's going places. It may not be far, but it's somewhere. <laughs> it was Halloween dress up day at school. I was a freshman in high school and I had this costume that I just loved. It was from my favorite anime. I guess the teachers didn't like how you could see my black shorts under my skirt because of the wind and I got dress coded. You're telling me this kid got dress coded for covering up? They wore a skirt with black shorts underneath. Black dress with the tights underneath. So they wouldn't moon someone and so they were covered up and they still got dress coded? Dress code is the stupidest thing ever. Like, I, 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 you can't change my mind. It is so dumb. And the fact that like teachers and administrations are like, your clothing is worth you missing a day of school or like you missing class time. Yeah, I'm gonna dress code you and take you out of your class where you could be learning valuable stuff in school just because I wanna be sexist and misogynistic. Change my mind. You can't. That's so stupid. You can't win. I'm sorry if my shoulder is too distracting for you. Cry me a river. One time I dressed up as Wednesday from the Adams Family, but the wig wouldn't braid, so we used my real blonde hair, and I got called a goth a few times. I just looked like the goth sister that was forced to go and didn't want to dress up. But honestly, that itself could be a costume. What are you dressed up as? The goth sister that didn't want to come and she was dragged here. You can literally make a costume out of anything. Not anything though. There are truly some things you shouldn't make a costume of. Actually, that being said, you should definitely go check out my video, uh, Weird Halloween Costumes. That shouldn't be sexy. So yeah, that gives you like a nice rundown of costumes you shouldn't make, do, whatever. But um, arguably, a lot of things can be made into costumes. So you can literally just say, I'm a goth for Halloween. People dress preppy for Halloween. People dress up like jocks or nerds. Like, you're fine. People who make fun of costumes are just lame. They're boring. They're jealous. They can't have as much fun on Halloween. I went to a Halloween party with my best friend. I wore the sexy cat costume that was skin tight but looked great. I knew my crush was there and I was all about impressing him. Once the music got going, Nicki Minaj came on and I dropped a low and ripped my costume in half. Needless to say, it was a bodysuit and I didn't have anything underneath. I was so embarrassed that I cried and ended up going home early. <laughs> but did you impress him though? I mean, I'm just saying, if you brought it down so low that your whole costume ripped, if he wasn't impressed by that, he is not the one, sis. <laughs> and the lesson here is sometimes we simply cannot drop it too low or we may reveal ourselves instead, so. I am so sorry. <laughs> if your crush was a real one though, I, I'm not gonna say he would enjoy it because then that just sounds like your crush is a perv, but if he was a real one, he will look past it. 
Yeah, I don't know, I'd be embarrassed too, I'm so sorry. <laughs> my brother and I were going trick-or-treating and we went to one of the houses on my street. When we got there, we ring the doorbell and no one answered. So we looked through the window. We saw a couple having sex right beside the candy. Now is not the time to be doing that. There are kids coming to knock on your door for candy and you're said getting down and dirty, doing the nasty, buy the candy. Oh, hell no. You keep your juices away from my candy, I am gonna throw up. Aside from that, with the windows open, is that public indecency even though they're in the comfort of their own home? I feel like it is because the window is literally open for everyone to see on the one night of the year when so many people are outside going to other people's houses. Yeah, no. It's creepy. It's weird. Disturbing. Inappropriate. I would simply call the police. Maybe you shouldn't have had sex and just give me my candy and this wouldn't have happened. When I was handing out candy last year, my dad went and gave me half of our unwanted stuff from the fridge and I had to hand that out with Reese's cups. <sighs> We have all gone to that one house where they gave us stuff we simply did not want nor need. I remember there was always two houses where I used to go trick-or-treating. One house would give me like really weird and obscure stuff. Like I remember getting like a packet of ketchup and I think another year I got like soy sauce or something. Also pennies, like being given change. I'm not like a street performer. Like why are you giving me change? I want candy, you know? Another house always gave us school supplies. And you know, like looking back at it now, that's really awesome. They were probably a teacher and it was nice of them to be like pencils and little notebooks. But me being a kid, I'm like, girl, I don't want to think about school right now. I don't want a pencil. Keep your notebook. Give me some freaking candy. So it's like, <laughs> why? Why couldn't you just get candy? Why are you giving me your ketchup packets? <laughs> why are you donating stuff that you don't want to me? I am not goodwill. <laughs> we all know that house though. Actually, that being said, I want you to tell me what's the weirdest thing you've ever gotten while trick-or-treating. That's a good topic of discussion. But that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. If you have your own embarrassing Halloween stories slash Halloween peer to horror stories that I may not have shared today, but you would like to share with us, make sure to comment those down as well. Now, shout out of the day goes to Abby on Instagram at thank you so, so much. If you would like to be shout out of the day, just follow me on my Instagram and stay active. And you can also follow me on my TikTok and my Twitter so you get bonus content and chances to be in my videos. Now, of course, if you haven't already, you should definitely subscribe and hit those post notifications and that could be like my little Halloween candy. The things I would do to travel back in time so I could go trick-or-treating. Should I go trick-or-treating at that lady's house I was like, you're too old to trick-or-treat? I, I think I should. Mainly so I can TP her house for saying that. But like, still. <laughs> I hope you guys had a great Halloween. Happy end of spooky season, but there's always next year. Anyways, love you guys. Stay safe, have fun, be spooky. Bye.